What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Crash Play Gaming and today we're taking a look at a funky deck that only works if you're behind on prizes for the first couple turns so you can hit everybody, bring them down to 10 HP and then poison your way to victory. And I man, if Hyper Toxic Lazy was still in the format, this deck would be, I say, un I dare say unstoppable, but it's not. We have to rely on Pokemon abilities, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can make it work. I'm not that confident in this deck, but uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go over it in the deck list and see how it plays out. Alright, so last video's question was, these legendary Pokemon have some Chinese inspiration and each of them is part dark type. Who are these Pokemon? And if you had went ahead and guessed Treasures of Ruin or the Chen Pao, Ting Lu, all, the, all their names, that works for me. So you went ahead and got yourself a point. So Prodigious and Daniel Seleus, you guys both have a point. And I believe that puts Prod at two points and Daniel gives you one. So we have a first and second place runner up uh, going for now. So... More participation will help, and uh, let's get into this. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you guys. What am I doing? The treasures of ruin. I forgot to point them out. Ugh. I'm losing it, everybody. I'm losing it. Anyways, those are them. There they are. We all know Chan Pao and Ting Lu because they are destroying the meta. Not so much the fire type and the grass type, but anyways. This video's question is, which Pokemon card has the Deluge ability? Go ahead and put your answer in the comment section down below. This time I'm looking for a Pokemon card. I guess you could say the name of the Pokemon, whatever it is, but uh, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and give me the, either the card number with the Pokemon or the set or I don't know. Mainly the Pokemon is what I want, so go ahead and guess that. Which Pokemon card has the Deluge ability? Put that in the comment section down below to earn yourself some points so that you can get some prizes on Pokemon TCG Live. Anyways, let's get into the deck list. We are taking a look at Paldean. Claude Sire EX, a 280 HP dark type Pokemon with the ability Toxic Wasteland. Once during a turn, if a stadium is in play, we can make our opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. Which, uh, I paired with a pretty sneaky rat, but it also has a 3 energy attack for 200 damage Needle Bone. Flip a coin it tells during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, which may be used actually sometimes in this deck. But let's go over the rest of the helpers here. We have 4 copies of Mew with the Mysterious Tell ability. Once during our turn, we can uh, look at the top six cards of our deck and get an item we find there and put it into our hand, which helps with our setup. That's why I'm using here. And then we also have a 4-4 line of Alolan Eradicate, 120 HP Dark Type Stage 1 Pokemon. And we're going to focus on the attack Super Fang for 3 colorless energy. We put damage counters on our opponent's Pokemon until the remaining HP is 10. And then, of course, you use Clogsire's ability, and you get a KO, just like that. Boom, pretty simple, but... It's also not as simple as it sounds, to be honest. We have four copies of Battle VIP Pass to help us set up. We need to get multiple Clock Sires, multiple Rotatas out, and a couple Mews out as well uh, for this deck to function correctly. We got two Dark Patches. I'll explain another variant to play this deck as well uh, when I get to the end of this. We got three Nest Ball, one Super Rod, just in case we need to recycle some of our Pokemon, four Trekking Shoes so we can dig, four Ultra Balls so we can search for the Evolution Pokemon, and then we have a pretty heavy Stadium count here. We have two R Zone, which allows us to get a basic Pokemon, put it onto our bench. For consistency, we have one Calamitous Wasteland here to stop our opponent's Pokemon from being able to retreat. Sometimes we want to stick something in the active and just leave it there, so it does cause a little bit of disruption. And then we have two Collapse Stadium. Um, you might be able to find different stadiums to play in this deck. Maybe Temple Sin no, not Temple Sinnoh. Don't play Temple Sinnoh, just kidding. Maybe some other stadiums might work a little bit better in this deck, but I just chose these ones. Um, you can also change the counts up if you want to, but we have five stadiums because we want to guarantee a stadium always being in play. We have one copy of Avery to disrupt our opponent, two copies of Boss's Orders, of course, two copies of Chorus Experiment, two copies of Cynthia's Ambition because our Pokemon get knocked out a lot, so this could be a good card to have. Two copies of Iono, for the same reasons. We got two copies of Professor's Research. A lot of twos for our um, supporters. One copy of Roxanne. Roxanne does come in clutch sometimes. And then our energy count is two double turbo, four reversal energies, and two basic dark energies, tolling out our energy count to, I believe, eight. So... That is the entirety of the deck. The goal of the deck is to start with Muse, let a couple Muse get KO'd, and then just start putting damage on with the Lone Rat Kate. Now remember, you don't actually need to take KOs right away. Um, you can let your opponent get down to like three prizes remaining, and at least if you have two or three of their Pokemon um, with damage already on there, so they're down to ten, and then you can just kind of boss them out and Cloud Sire your way to victory, that is an option. I chose to go this route because I wanted to use Reversal Energy. I think Reversal Energy has so much potential, but it just doesn't get that much because you have to play from behind, and it makes it really tough. But with single prize decks, I think it kind of works a little bit better. 
But anyways, another version of this deck you could use is to play a Raihan, increase the Dark Patch uh, engine, and just use Double Turbo uh, Darkness energy and just cut out the Reversal energies. This also helps Claude Sire attack as well, and it may be a little bit more consistent. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it. I wanted to stick with this deck. But anyways, the pros, easy to KO your opponent's Pokemon. As long as you have Claude Sire, Stadium, Raticate, you're good. Simple KOs, you don't have to worry about doing how much damage am I doing. You're always doing enough. Um, it is fun. This is a really fun deck to play. I enjoy playing this deck. It's a really creative way to win Pokemon games, so that's awesome. And I've actually thought about the expanded format with this. I was like, man, this could probably do extremely well in expanded, especially Raticate with, like, um, Hypnotoxic Laser, for example. Just, you don't even need Clot Sire anymore. You just need Hypnotoxic Lasers, and then boom, they're poisoned, and you just KO them. So, that's a thing. Um, anyway, some of the scores here. I actually forgot to update the scores. Hmm. It's a lot less than this. Uh, we, we don't need to worry about it. The speed is... I would actually say the speed is a 5. The power should be closer to like an 8 or a 9 since we are taking Okos. But other than that, you don't take Okos. So there's that. The consistency should be like a 7. The draw is also probably at a good spot. 6. And the fun is, I believe, a 9 out of 10. I do have a lot of fun playing this game. And especially when you're winning with this deck. Because it's just a cool way to win. But uh, those are the point totals. Some cons... You're always going to have close games because you rely on reversal energy. So it does get a little bit stressful, but sometimes it makes it fun. Close games can be fun. Another con is the combo. You have to have a three-piece combo going, which is Cloud Sire, Eradicate, and then a Stadium and Blade. A lot of people are playing Lost Vacuum, so that makes that combo a little bit harder to go to. Another con is single prizers and lost box decks, of course, are just going to ramp through this. This deck is not designed to go up against single prizers, especially if you're taking knockout for knockout, but it can. I'm not saying it's not going to, but it can, but I think it's just the worst matchup. But those are the cons. That is the deck list. Well, let's go watch it in action. Walkabilly Growlithe. Okay, double battle VIP pass, but we don't have any energy, which is, like, horrible for us. Um, we'll get down double whooper. And then we'll get down Rattata Mew. And then pass the turn. We don't need to play Collapse Stadium yet. Though... I don't think we're going to get KO this turn, so Iona is going to be our supporter of choice next turn. I don't think Collapse Stadium... Unless they put down more Pokemon Thunder Energy. Say what? This is a... Arcanine with Raikou? Oh. You have nothing. Reversal energy is good, especially if you KO that, so we'll play that. We're gonna hold the Collapse Stadium from not being played for now. We'll play down this other Rattata and a Yono. So we do need to hit into a Stadium and Claude Sire. There's a Stadium, there's a Raticates. No Claude Sire though. Just a little bit of a bummer and no supporter. We'll pass again. Ow, I hit my knee on my desk. Oh. Okay. In the KO the Rattata, we go up with Mew. Get an Ultra Ball. Top deck of Dark Energy. We get the KO on Squawkability. They didn't even use their Squawkability's ability next last turn either. Strange. Maybe they just had all the good cards in their hand they didn't want to get rid of. Ultra Ball from opponent's Cinderace and Nest Ball. 90x, sure. Arvin? Hmm. We have four prizes on the board so far. If we can just get some super things going, we should be fine. Escape Rope. XP Share. I mean, Arcanine can't attack with one energy. So I don't really care about that. They can attack next turn, though. But we can also get this Quark ability down to 10. Which is good. It's a tricky, tricky matchup we have, especially when Iono doesn't give me any other supporters. Maybe I should have played Cynthia's Ambition, but then I wouldn't have... What I have now. Another motivate. KOing my Alolan Rattata. Activating our energy, which is good. 
Me and Eradicate come up, come up and do its thing. Probably should have promoted the Mew, but I didn't. There's a Rattata. Let's throw down the Artizon. And Iono again. Maybe we can get Clotsire and actually get the KO. Okay, no Clotsire. Trucking shoes. Don't need a Nest Ball. There's the Clotsire. Perfect. Let's attach the Double Turbo to a Rattata. And Clotsire. And we can poison the Squawkabilly. And Super Fang. Hit it for 150. And Poison will finish it off. And then we need Mew to get KO'd. Let's take 5 and 4. Reversal Energy's good. Super Rod's okay. That puts back the Alolan Eradicate. And I can research this next turn. Harvin from our opponent, so no boss, which is good. Can poison the Arcanine. And then we should be fine from there. Oh, escape rope XP share again. Well, I guess if you escape rope, we just give you the Mew. I'll put you down to four. We'll have the same. I can promote this Rattata. And possibly hit into another Raticate. Then I have to research a reversal energy away. Actually, you don't KL us. Okay. We'll give them the Mew, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with giving them the Mew. We can attach reversal energy to this one. Research. And hopefully find another Clod Sire and a Dark Patch. We should be good to go play Coco. Just playing all the fire cards. Okay. Ultra Ball's good. Let's go Reversal Energy. Well. If I attach it to the Mew, I could retreat. But I don't have... Hmm. We're not in a rush, right? So we'll just do Reversal Energy. Let's go Ultra Ball, get rid of these. Get another Clod Sire out. It's the last one. And we don't need any of these cards. No Dark Patch, which is unfortunate, but we do have Eradicate that we're gonna save in our hand. Let's go with Mysterious Tail. Trekking shoes. Do we have another Raticate? I don't know. Can't play my nest ball to see. Don't need a Mew, that's for sure. That'll be a P pass, okay. We'll just poison the Arcanine. And pass the turn. Next turn we should be able to use Hyper Fang and get the KO. And again, we're not going up against the strongest deck here. This is kind of just showcasing what this deck can do. Be nice if we were going up against some more aggressive decks so we can just get the KOs back to back, but nonetheless, here we are. We do have basic energy in hand for the Eradicate to be able to get the KO this following turn. Our research from our opponents. Ooh, they got rid of the Skeletors. That's interesting. They could have had Skeletors next turn. Magma Basin works. Still a stadium. Radiant Charizard will be a problem if they have. Um, what's that? What's that tool called? Defiance Band. That'll give them plus 30 damage to my clock sire. <laughs> Otherwise, Radiant Charizard will have to two-shot them. They just do another Raging Claws. I don't know why they attached a Fire Energy to this Arcanine. It's just going to get KO'd. Go up with Rattata here. Cynthia's Ambition's a good top deck. Let's go Eradicate. Ultra Ball away, VIP, and they concede. Oh man, they just conceded like that, but we'll take the dub. That's how the rats do it. Ooh, going up against Maridon, it seems. We're starting with me. We have Rattata, which is good, and Eradicate, but we don't have energy for it. However, if we can find our way 
into some things like Mew can get us a battle via P-Pass, which would be great. A Palmy, is there, isn't there a Palm on EX or is it just a stage three? Stage three, a stage two, the third evolution. That's why I said stage three, I'm ridiculous. They found a battle via P-Pass. Hopefully the Mew will get us a battle via P-Pass. We do need to set up a lot more. I'm thinking we need more Mews as well. This deck will be pretty fast. And it looks like they're going to be having a lot of single prizers. Okay. Argo, we top deck a Nest Ball. Which actually, we'll play that first. Let's guarantee a second Mew. And then Mysterious Tail here. See what we get? Battle VIP Pass is better than Trucking Shoes? Maybe? We'll see. Get down Double Whopper. <laughs> double Whopper. We can throw down a Rattata. Do you know what? I can even stall by doing a boss's orders on a Mareep for now. Yeah, on a Mareep for now and tossing down Calamitous. Pass the turn. Maybe that gives me a few more turns with Mew to get some other things set up and going. Could probably top deck into a supporter that can draw some cards, hopefully. Good thing. There's the rare candy Palmot. And a Flaffy wants to a Tomb deck for basic lightning energy and touch this Pokemon on the shelf of your deck. Okay. And they had a research. So they would have definitely gotten some kind of KO going. There's a switch. This guy also has free retreat, doesn't he? Sure does. Okay. So we definitely need a research this next turn or Iono. For sure. So we can get a KO on this Raikou. Maybe they didn't hit an energy. They didn't hit an energy. Cynthia's ambition would have been great. Let's go ahead and evolve. And let's Mysterious Tail. Ultra Ball seems better here. I can Ultra Ball away these. Go grab Clodsire. Don't have to worry about a KO on Clodsire, so that's fine. And then we can Cynthia's Ambition. Do get a Reversal and a Double Turbo. But we don't have another Rattata. I can save the Reversal Energy. I think I hold everything in my hand and just Poison Raikou. Unfortunately, we don't have another Rattata down, which is kind of bad. Oh, I thought that ends my turn. I'm over here sitting. Hopefully they KO Mew. And I can go in with Raticate and get the KO. Maybe. Basic energy on Raikou. Don't have a boss. Just KO my Mew. Please just KO the Mew. Just KO the Mew. Research. Okay, it's not a boss. If they play Escape Rope, which they just got rid of, I have another Mew to give them anyways. Cool. So we should be able to get a KO on this Raikou. They can KO the, the Eradicate back and we can promote the second Mew to let that get KO'd. Or we can eventually start charging up another Rattata if we get to it. We also have a boss's orders to KO the Maridon as well at some point. So this is good. The biggest threat, Raikou's gone. Palmot has free retreat, which just makes that annoying. But it's okay. All right, here we go. An Iono. It's actually really good for us. Let's go ahead and reversal energy. Let's play Iono. We don't need what's in our hand, technically. We do need more Rattatas down. And we mess up their hand, putting them down to five. There's Rattata and a reversal, which is great. Let's play Rattata. Let's go Trekking Shoes. Put that in the discard because we can get Dark Patches at some point. Another Mew isn't necessary yet so let's just go ahead and super fang avery is going to be really good as well force them to discard two of their pokemon four and five seem like good prizes and nest wall collapse stadium okay now palma does have one retreat cost because of calamitous wasteland they're gonna go down oh never mind okay 
play Artisan and get another Rattata down. That would increase our chances to be getting um, the Raticate going. And of course, we're also going to want to find the boss's orders for the Maridon. Technically, we can also attack with Cloud Sire too, so be fun. Miriam. I'll put back in some Pokemon for them. Probably the Raikou and the Palmot that they discarded. Oh, <laughs> that's a cool Palmot. He's just chilling. <laughs> They're carried him and he's like, yeah. Nice. Okay. They're getting everything they need. They hit for 230, but then they have to discard all energy from this Pokemon. But they have another one. Ooh, they're firing up a Rhydon. Okay. Ultra Ball for another, um, what's it called? What is that Pokemon called? Flaffy. But what they don't real oh, they get rid of Pomot again. What they don't realize is they have one retreat cost. Oh, no, they don't. They got rid of, argh, they got rid of my Calamitous Wastelands. Dang it. Well, Avery is going to be good. We're going to have them discard Pokemon. Hopefully, they don't discard Maridon. That would suck if they do. But it's okay. 230, discarding all energy. They go down to four prizes. Um, we're going to play Artizone. And get down another Rattata. And then we're going to Avery. Force them to discard two Pokemon. Ultra Ball gets Eradicate, which is good. Dark Patch would also be good too, because I can attack with Clodsire. Let's go Trekking Shoes. Well, we kind of need that energy. And Mysterious Tail. Maybe get a Dark Patch here. No, we just whiff. Fine. Forget it. We can attach to Rattata. And then we can Poison. Which is just going to get reset anyways, but at least it's 10 damage this turn. We got rid of two Reefs, so we only have one Flaffy going. Which is enough, I think, to get KOs. Roxanne them next turn as well. So let's burn the Nest Ball. Get our final Mew down. And then we can save the Ultra Ball for next turn. Because they could boss my other Eradicate. Or the Rattata with the energy on it. And they have that ability to. So, there's that. I don't want to fully commit to the Rattata. But the nice thing is, like, this is tricky. It's really hard. I wanted them to be... Hmm. They need energy in deck or in hand for that Palmot. Wow, they have a lot. That's five energies in play, three energies, then discard also eight, six energies in play, three energies, so nine energy total. So they probably have one more in the deck. However, this Palmot's gonna get KO'd. Get a fourth Marie, which is fine. Unless we top take a boss. If we top take a boss, we're gonna KO them right on. Another Palmot, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm, how do we play this? Boss's orders. Okay, they're going for the Claude Sire. Well, it doesn't get KO'd. And now it's stuck in the active. That's a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away this Mew Battle Vip Pass. Do I even have Switch in here? I don't even have a switch. So there's no way to 
get this out of the active. They're going to attack with the other Palmot. Let's play the Collapse Stadium. Can now get rid of one of these Mews. They have to get rid of either Palmot or Mareep. Palmot it is. Toxic Wasteland. Chorus. That seems good, that seems good, and that seems good. Pass the turn here, unfortunately. Good thing we got another Clotsire, though, and we have Raticate. We do have Boss to kill the Maridon, which is cool, so that'll give us two prizes as well. Are we going to win this? I don't know. This will be interesting. So we're going to KO with Palmot to go down to two prizes. And then we KO go down to three. They KO go down to one. Hmm. Avery? That's fine. We don't need Mew anymore. Or are they going to run out of resources? This Palmot doesn't have any energy on it. They only have one Flaffy in play. Five energy. They need an energy recycler. They have five energy in the discard. That's ten. Dark Patch is good. Let's go into Radicate. We're not going to boss this turn. Let's Dark Patch. Clot's Iron. Double Turbo him. Well, if we do boss, we KO that. Go down to two prizes. Clotsire can attack now. So maybe we do. Yeah, let's boss Maridon. Poison Maridon. The next turn we can rock sand, it's okay. Super Fang. Then we go down to two prizes remaining. They get a KO, go down to one. Then they have to go through Clotsire. And we'll take one and two. I mean, three and two. Verso Iono. Well, Roxanne's better for us. Though I could use the Ultra Ball to get rid of a Reversal and Iono to find another Raticate. They promote him a Reap. They don't have any energy in deck. They're out of resources. In terms of energy, that is. Hmm. Switch. So they can have free retreat, I suppose. Another Flaffy. Okay, so Palmot will be able to attack next turn. We wanted to save the Flaffy. Pod Helmet doesn't matter. If we can... Oh, I think we've played two bosses. Ooh, Jet Energy. Nice. Down two bosses. I don't believe we play a third. They do KO Eradicate. Now... Could... Uh, they're at one prize remaining. Let's go with Clots Armor, I suppose. Let's attach that to Rattata. Keep those open. Discard these two. Here's Eradicate, which is good. And there is a double turbo. There's no more boss, though. It's okay, though. Bring them down to two. We've got stuff. We need to find the double turbo trekking shoes. It is. Game froze. Oh, the game froze. Come on, trekking shoes. No! Why? Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, I think I do need to take a clap stadium because I don't know how many are left. So we'll grab that for sure. And 150. Poison. And KO. 
We're also down to one prize remaining. This Pokemon can't attack. Great, so Clodsire can't attack next turn. Thankfully though, we know we have a double turbo in the deck. I have a course of experiment and research so we can hit it. And as long as we can keep a stadium in play, we should win this, which is an insane matchup. Electrogenesis is not gonna get them anything. So they need to have a switch or a jet energy. No, they need to have jet energy. And a boss. They need jet energy and boss in their three card hand. Do they have it? They do have they do think they have a turn because Clotsire can't attack, but they have a research. So that's not a boss. Tells me they have a way to switch, I suppose. Or they have another Jet Energy. Jet Energy is really good in this deck. I didn't even realize how awesome that was. That was a really good play from our opponent last turn. With that Jet Energy. Escape Rope. Oh no. Do they have an energy? A special energy of some sort? Oh, they go into Flaffy. They have a Jet Energy. They had escape rope jet energy. Play the jet energy if you have it. Why are you giving me so much suspense? Oh my goodness. Come on. They don't have it, right? They don't have it. Raikou? Five cards? Two thumbs up? Oh! We got him. We had the double triple deck, so we could have taken that last KO. Another dub for our rat. Woo! Actually, was this like rat on rat? Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Ooh, that last match was a doozy again. If they had a jet energy, we would have been screwed and they would have won. This deck does come down to the wire a lot because you are also trying to play from behind to get those reversal energies going. And you know what? You could take out the reversal energies and play things like Raihan, um, more dark patches, more dark energy to accelerate different energies onto the Pokemon. But I went reversal energy route because it's a new card. But anyways, it was fun to see that. We beat up on a Maridon Palmot deck, which is a really cool idea. And we also beat up on a fire deck that just couldn't really get going and they can see it on us. But anyways, it showcases how the deck works. And that's really what I want to do with this deck since it's not, you know, the most competitive, but it is a fun way to win. So thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and we'll see you next time on Crash Blade Gaming.